coming down here to fish giant yellowfin, it's a lot different than going fishing during the summer where you get into some albacore, some 40, 50 pound yellow fins, and 40, 50 pound blue fins. Your normal yellowtail and the kelps, everybody's doing great, they're having a good time. And even for, even Guadalupe for that matter, where you, every now and then you get a 100 pound yellow fin. Coming down here, lower bank style fishing, open water, fishing for these giants, as in, you know, 130 to 200, 350 pound yellow fin, you're, it's a whole new ball game. Something that's really hard to teach and hard to get anglers to do, especially first time people on 200 pound fish plus, is to relax. At the beginning of the fight, relax. Let your equipment do it for you. Just hang on to it. Make sure you got a good bend in the rod. Make sure you got pressure on the handle. But don't exert yourself. Make sure your posture's good, that your back's not sore. If you feel your muscles tightening up, you're not standing right, something's not right. Hour, hour and a half, two hours on a fish. So in the first 15 minutes, if your arms are dead and your back muscles are sore, how are you gonna feel an hour and a half from now when your fish is a color and the crew members are telling you, lift, wine, wine, you're done. It's, the, uh, it's a technique that, that makes it happen. You know, you could work yourself out by putting too much effort into it and just tearing yourself apart. And we have our hypo on the rail and the rods like this. My fish is straight up and down. I don't want to be like this, pointing my rod right at the fish. I've got absolutely, my rod is doing nothing now. It's all right here on the reel and the line. You want to make sure you're back, you've got a good posture, you're down here, you've got a good bend in the rod. Crew member's going to be right there next to you, just telling you to wind, take this, take that. As the rod tip comes up a little bit, you want to take it. If it's a half a turn, that's a half a turn. If we can take half turns every time the fish circles for an hour, we're gonna get them. Now we say we get into a fish, big fish that takes off running full speed, and no matter what, you're just, you're back in your harness, you're on the rail and you can't stop him. Get down, get down, let's say this is the rail. Get all the way down. Sometimes I've seen David all the way down on the rail with his rod on the deck like this, holding on to it and the rod is just doubled over like that, just going out in the water. The fish will stop. You're putting a maximum amount of pressure against that fish. Always fish in high gear. You're always in high gear until the middle of the fight, towards the end of the fight, when the fish is laying down below the bow, and then you're gonna drop it in the low gear so you have a little more torque on it and you can bring them up. Giants will test every knot you put on there, every connection you have, and every bit of skill you have or don't have is going to get put to the test. Great dad, nice fish. When you haven't done this before, yeah, it works you pretty hard.